Since 2008, Pathlight International has been supporting teachers and administrators with training and mentoring in an effort to empower children in the 13 countries they operate, including Belize. But at the start of the 2019 school year, through a call made by Chief Education Officer Dr. Carl Bob, the organization has adopted Unity Presbyterian Primary School on Antelope Street in the Collet Division. We heard the call and we decided to say, you know what, let's, let's, let's take the call. And we decided then to advice from the Chief Education Officer as well as the District Education Officer here in Belize City to adopt Unity Presbyterian. And it comes with, it comes, the adoption means that we are here working along with parents and with the school to make sure that the students that comes here are successful. Yeah. And that is our plan. Today we are excited to be here. We have some furniture that we are donating to the school. The enrollment at the school has increased this year and another infant one classroom was added. There was need for additional tables and chairs for the students. So today at the commencement of second term, they got more than they bargained for. But shelves, a printer table, tire seats for the children, a set of gutter shelves with reading books for all classrooms, and more. In addition to the material resources, the teachers will also get training. Principal Dalila Makwani says that it will help to boost the institution's literacy program. This year is the first year that we're having two infant to one classes, therefore we lacked furniture. Um, we had a class that we had to be borrowing chairs from one class to another class. So whenever we had a full house, when all the students were here, then we were in trouble. We had to be getting plastic chairs to make sure that the children find a chair to sit. So with this donation, it helped us because now the children can sit comfortable. They have the space enough for them to take out their books, their pencils, and set it on the table, whereas they're not pack up and jump up in one cluster class, but they have space available for them to do their work. We have a unique way of making a library. Um, we are working along with um, repurposing old things and to make them look new so we have a nice library that we have created for each of each of the classrooms here at the school um, a little reading nook where we have a sitting area as well we have another program a very important program called the teacher training program and this is where we are working along with the teachers and principal of the school where we are going to do professional development for the teachers so also working to make them better so that we ensure success with our students the library set the because this is one one thing that we want to focus here at Unity. We want to give literacy a big space because we know that a lot of our students have problem with reading. So that's one way that Patlight is also helping us, not only with furniture, but also helping us with literacy. They're also providing us with workshops where they're training the teachers with um, how to for us to go above about assessing the students with reading. It's a pilot project which Dr. Bob says will be duplicated across the country for schools that need the added support. And I'm very happy that we are starting off with an excellent gift, the gift of education. In my opinion, it's very good to start off the air because we want every child from this school to succeed. And the only way that they can succeed is with a song education. You know, our minister says his favorite mantra is, Education is everybody's business. And we at the Ministry of Education realize that we cannot do it on our own. I have reached out to some other organizations. I would want them to adopt, another, to adopt schools as well because with partnership, there's so much opportunities. I want to reach out to the greater organizations like BL, BTL, to support schools, to partner with them, to ensure that these children have a hope a hope to, to succeed in life. Dwayne Moody for News 5.